All right, guys, welcome to my game room tour of 2023. I'm really, really excited about this video because I didn't expect the game room to change this much this year, but literally almost everything has changed. We have new rooms in the house that weren't here before. Uh, you know, rooms moved around to different areas. The whole entire game room has essentially changed. And my theme for the game room this year is to feel more open. I feel like before uh, the game room and the, and the arcade and stuff started feeling a little bit cramped when people are in there. Obviously, I, I couldn't grow the space, so what I did is I tried to consolidate some things, spread some things out, and just make it feel like it was a lot more inviting when people are over to just go up and play something. So that's the theme of this year. Things are going to be more spread out. Um, and I'm excited to show you guys this video because there is a lot to get into here as far as how everything looks. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Game in tech. Eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming techie is the gaming tech. Gaming techie. So as usual guys, let's go ahead and start with the snippet of the setup here. A quick one minute rundown of everything going on. All right, guys, so let's get into the full tour now and give you guys uh, more detail on everything that I changed and what we have going on on here. So let's start, as we usually do, down these stairs. This is my main basement game room, even though it's now spread out uh, a little bit more into other parts of the house like you guys saw. But let's go ahead and start down here first. This is what my game room used to look like when you came down here. Or what it looks like now, sorry, compared to last time. So the sports wall here, it's not something that has changed. I just obviously add more things to the sports wall every now and then. We got a nice Space Jam poster, uh, Kobe Bryant jersey, you know, just some of my favorite things here. A lot of that stuff going on on here. Obviously a big Devils fan here, big Giants fan, 49ers fan, uh, Mighty Ducks of course. Here's my 49ers stuff. Here's some of my Devil stuff here on the wall, which is really cool. Love that poster there. That one's really cool. A lot of uh, autographs and things signed, all that kind of stuff uh, coming down here. And then, of course, when you enter the man cave here, you got these Stanley Cup posters from the Devils there, the three Stanley Cups that they have. And then we got a nice little sign here, Carlos's man cave. As you kind of enter in, uh, this has been here for a while, but it is really cool. So, as soon as you come down here, things already drastically start changing. Uh, I used to have, uh, for those of you guys who watch on my other videos all the time, I used to have a gigantic um, Marvel pachinko machine, and I never really got used, especially because it was always in the way of the door opening. 
So I got rid of that. I actually still have that for sale. I'm trying to sell it on Facebook Marketplace locally and trying to get rid of that. And that's all gone. And the movie collectibles were there and right here. That's all gone. And now what we have going on here is the New Wave Toys section uh, that I really started getting into because I love arcade machines and stuff. And what I have going on right here that I think is really cool is that I can now have a dedicated area to show off these New Wave toys. These things are fantastic. I've been doing a lot of reviews on them recently. And it gives me, uh, you know, a place to show off arcades that I know I'm never going to own, you know, in real life or anything. And I still have, a, like, a replica of them, like the Atari Food Fight that you see here. We got that going on right there. Missile Command up there. And then we have uh, 1942 sitting down there. I love having these things on. Uh, you know, I got my little display going on right here. I got a little wallpaper going on in the background. The the backlight, I have a backlight sitting up there that kind of shines down sitting up there. If you guys can see it, it's shining down on the poster and it makes it look freaking awesome. Makes the, the um, neon matte here tile uh, show up and look really good. Added some little posters there or some, to match some things. We have some uh, cool figurines here from some of my stuff that revolve around the 80s. Uh, you know, Tron, Ghostbusters, obviously Ninja Turtles down there. Stranger Things is obviously based on the 80s, so I thought that fit well. And then Karate Kid chilling right there, right in the front. Obviously, this is an ever-expanding area. As a matter of fact, I have, you know, other things coming in in a couple days, but I don't want to wait to get this video out anymore. Down here, I'm going to be adding the big... I did end up getting the big uh, replica machine of the M90. So I'll be doing a video review on that next week and that will go down here. And this will obviously, I'm still missing two more of these UV pads to, to kind of decorate this out uh, because they're sold out right now. But essentially I'll have this obviously covered in the same thing on the second floor. And this will be where my other machines go when I keep getting more of them. I'll have this set up exactly the same. I don't want to change this. This will be kind of like where I showcase my two most newest ones. And then the other ones will kind of be down here, uh, you know, in a gigantic like little square area right here. So I think it came out really good. The only other thing I want to add, because they're sold out as well, is the guy who makes this. Also, they also, on New Wave Toys, have like a 4x6 version of different arcade posters that would fit perfectly right here on these sides. And they come, I want to put four of them, one here, one here, one here, one here. So then the UV light will bounce off of those even better. Or not even better, but just more. So I have some more UV uh, black light posters. And, uh, you know, that matches the arcade theme. But I love this poster, and I can't wait to get the smaller ones. But that's really the only thing that this area is missing. Um... That I didn't get a chance to do and then over here we got uh, just stuff that I'm adding from new wave toys that kind of match this area we got the insert coin blu-ray up there that they did we got the uh, little uh, power bank that they created we got the m90 mini sitting right here we got the arcade stick uh, for 1943 these two these three spots are empty because I actually have a couple of things coming in uh, that just didn't make it in time for this video like I got another I got the Street Fighter one that's gonna go down here uh, just a couple of other things that are going to be sitting there that are going to and then I have a few shelves down below that will kind of just sit there Until New Wave Toys comes out with some things that maybe just fit on those shelves But right now all the shelves up to that corner will be filled and it's gonna look great Having all the New Wave Toys collectibles and stuff like that sitting right here And then I did have to mention I have the arcade down there the book from New Wave Toys as well down there Which is really cool. So love how this area has turned out. It's like 95% complete just missing a couple of posters there uh, And then those three things that are coming in the mail uh, need a couple of posters when those come back in stock, the 4x6s, and then a couple more UV, um, you know, backlight mats there for the second shelf to get that done. Uh, coming around this corner, I do still have my Marvel machine right here, the limited edition one that's modded with a retro pie to be able to play all the Marvel and, and fighting games with the uh, Soundwa joysticks and buttons, which is fantastic. Love this limited edition. Uh, some mods there and stuff with adding some extra buttons, some nice cool... Uh, marble things that light up there on the wall, which I think look great, and so does, uh, you know, those signs and stuff. And that hasn't changed. It just moved there, and it looks fantastic. Uh, I moved the Star Wars machine over, so then it has more room and not so claustrophobic to these people who are playing right here. And then, of course, I got my Star Wars machine right here in the corner. I've had this here in the corner for a while, just moved in a little bit more. Modded, of course, with a PC and everything to be able to play a bunch of flying games on there. And then right next to it, something that came in this year, is of course my Legends pinball machine, something that I've wanted for a while to get into the ecosystem, to get into their ecosystem, and uh, I got that this past year, so I added that right there to play some pinball. That's been fantastic to have. Now spinning over here, a lot of you guys will have watched my video and all that. This has changed drastically. I used to have a movie room sign right here, and you guys will see later on in the video where that movie room went to. 
But this used to be a movie room, believe it or not. This is now a board game room, as you guys are looking at here. Um, and slash arcade in the corner here. So I got like an arcade area in the corner right there where these are kind of living. And then as soon as you cross this area, that's why I have a board game drive sign. So this is the board game area. The game room boulevard is kind of in there with that sign. And then this is the arcade sign that's kind of calling this arcade lane. So there's some arcades over here, which I think look great. But this is the movie theater seats that I used to have. I haven't gotten rid of it yet. I think it fits pretty well here for now. It might not stay here forever, but it's here right now with the arcade one of Infinity Game Table. So people can kind of just sit there, relax, talk to each other, and play some Infinity Game Table stuff right there. And then we got the uh, you know pinball sign to kind of match that pinball machine right there. Uh, I use this for a variety of things right now. I've been using it for my videos because I do some of my unboxings here now because it's perfectly set up. Like you can see right now, it says 2023 Game Room Tour. So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, we got the uh, DDR, like, little poster. I didn't know what to put there, so I put a DDR thing because this is where my mats are. When I want to whip out DDR, obviously, I just take it out of that corner, so that's where the DDR sign is there. This Game of Thrones is part of my wall when I had the movie room theater sitting in here. I don't exactly think it matches this room anymore, of course, because, you know, it's, it's Game of Thrones. It's got nothing to do with arcades or a board game room. So maybe something that disappears eventually, but I just like the way it's set up, and I think I left it there for now because I don't really have another good place for it. So... You guys will see what the move room looks like after this. But, um, yeah. This is fantastic. I have a, a dedicated board game room now. We got some comics here on the side. And then we got the board game sign that I just had created. Uh, the Oliveira board game room. I love how this sign turned out. The same guys who made the movie room sign made me this one. Fantastic. And then I got this custom made on Etsy as well. This is freaking awesome. They take your favorite games from board games. And they kind of do things there like, you know, we connect cities and complete tickets. You guys should know what that's from. Uh, you know, everything pertains to something. Uh, things can get dicey, obviously relating to dice games. Obviously, our colony works together, placing workers in decks. You know, all these cool things. Let me know if you guys can, without looking it up, guess all eight of the different games that are sitting on here. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven, eight of them. Let me know if you can guess all the board games that these things are referring to that I really like in my collection. So I love this. I love what it says, and I love how it kind of goes right underneath that board game sign. And then again, like I said, we have the comics here with the Hulk sitting up there. And he's kind of sitting there with the comics and stuff, which is really cool. And then this is the gigantic board game uh, room. I think it turned out fantastic. I was really nervous when I was putting this together because I didn't think the table was going to fit with two shelves next to it. It is a little bit tighter than you would probably want to, but I can easily, you know, open this chair and kind of sit there and not have a problem. Uh, the Obviously, people who might be slightly bigger and stuff like that obviously have the opposite ends right here that they can sit at. So it's not perfect, but I say it's pretty good. And, um, you know, like I said, you could fit well on either side. It's just that, you know, sometimes if you're sitting on that corner, you may have to tell one of the other two people to get up so you can get around them. But once you're in there, you're really comfortable. And, and everyone who I had tested didn't have an issue with it. Because my only other option is to just only have shelves on one side and then lose all the storage on both sides. And then I obviously wanted it to be kind of a board game room. And you get that feeling by having shelves on both sides. So I think this works really well. I can't wait to have my first board game night here. I've only had a few people test it out. We played a couple things on here. But as far as a true board game night that I usually have, I haven't had one yet. But it's definitely coming now soon. And I'm excited about it here. Uh, this is obviously the little area that I have here. I got some posters, Board Game Geek. We got a bunch of my board games here. I'm not going to go through every shelf here, of course. We'll be here forever. But we got, like, Catan there, the 3D version, and then just a couple of random knickknacks there to kind of show off there. And then what I do is I have a lot of board games, like, behind these, but I show off my favorite ones that I like currently, uh, and I kind of have those on the front, and then the other ones are kind of slid in behind it. So you'll see a lot of board games that I really like kind of front, face, and center, and then there's a bunch of board games, obviously, behind each one. Same thing with the ones back here, as you guys are looking at. Uh, we got some board games down there. Uh, this is where all my stuff goes. I have a Switch there, my Sonos and stuff that goes outside, and my Switch kind of lands. Everything Ethernet related in the house kind of lands right here in this little cubicle because that's where they used to go before uh, when the movie room was here. So I tied it up as much as I could and, and kind of set that right there. Uh, got some board game, uh, got some candy over here. Since you guys remember, I used to have a candy station that used to be in the board game corner right there. That did get sold off because obviously I have no room to put that here anymore to have a candy station anymore. So what I did instead is I got this little cart and then obviously w when we're playing board games and stuff is usually when people want to have candy and stuff. So I kind of just have that sitting right here ready with some of my favorite candy and some things that a lot of people like. Uh, you know, kind of sitting here. Obviously, I have to get more candy. It's not completely full, but it's just kind of to show off what my idea was. Little cart there, just for some candy and stuff. Uh, we got 
uh, board game stuff right here related. We got a little sign. This is a really cool sign that I got from Etsy as well. Board Games Hero Challenge, where you do all these challenges for board games. Like, read a book about board games, play one game for four hours straight, and then you kind of cross them off. And then you get, like, points over here to try and build your stamina, your exploration and stuff. It's really cool, uh, you know, to complete these challenges when you're playing board games. And then right here in the middle, I just got some knickknacks. These are my two favorite games currently. Dead of Winter has been my favorite game for a while. Love that game. And then Feed the Kraken is just another one of my favorite games right now. Drop Mix to show off there. I love Drop Mix, even though it's not really supported anymore, but it does still work. Then we have this Fuzzy Football here, which I think is really cool. Combines uh, football with a board game and stuff. Really, really fun. And then another one right here, Dags, and then this other one that I have right here. Uh, really, really well organized. And then we got some snacks over here that I usually always had. So a couple more snacks. This is my 90s corner, since I'm a huge 90s fan. We got a 90s fridge, all decorated out from the 90s, with some 90s snacks in there, like Icy's and stuff like that, and Lunchables and Capri Sun, all that kind of stuff sitting in that little mini fridge that we have going on. And there's just 90s snacks like Dunkaroos and Fun Dip, Slim Jims, rice krispies you know all, all these kind of things it's not completely full again because i just got this set up but you get the idea of what i was going for there and then that's why it says saved by the snacks 90s themes right there uh, a lot of cool stuff there so and then this is my uh, last game board you guys know i do a lot of videos on that i have that set up here at the table here so we got the infinity game table over there and then the last game board sitting over here which is really cool and that's kind of it for this room over here. I think this room has improved a lot. There's so much more space here when you come through. You know, you actually have room to play these pinball machines and the Star Wars machine and the Marvel machine in the other corner. That's more of a showpiece than it is to play, but at least the door can actually fully open now. It's not like blocked off when we go into the arcade room. It's, that's just the noise of it hitting the floor, but it fully opens now, which is great. Unlike before, it was hard to get in there and this just came out really well. I love the board game area because I love board games and being able to have dedicated space for the infinity game table the last game board and just all my board games surrounding me it's really really fun uh, i almost forgot about this area over here but i have a couple of knickknacks here uh some other games some board game books and then this is a game i actually made myself uh it's a board game that kind of takes the mario party feel uh where you're playing mario party on a board game but all the mini games are essentially board games where i take some of the board games that i own and make them into mini games and stuff like that and play like a mario party type mashup game kind of use that when i have like four to eight people over so we can play a bunch of board games in one night maybe as opposed to playing one or two board games a night we play that it's a pretty long game it takes about four hours but you get to play a variety of different board games in my collection so a lot of people seem to like that when uh, i showed my friends uh that then we got a sign over here no not like monopoly a nice little uh picture there love this sign over here will wheaton up there posing up there we got this stuff board gamers say which is pretty hilarious you guys can read some of those and then I have too many board games that no one ever sitting right there. And then top 100 board games, uh, you scratch them off as you get them. I haven't started scratching them off yet because I do own some. But those are the top 100 board games based on 2022 on Board Game Geek that you can kind of cross off, which is really cool. So that's it for this room. Moving on to the Game Room Boulevard when you walk in here. I would say some things have changed in this room, but not as much as uh, the other room. Uh, that was definitely the most room that got completely changed because obviously it used to be a move room and now it's a board game, so no surprise. So we'll start off over here in this corner. This is my 90s corner here. This is exactly the same way it was, it was before. It's my retro PC with a bunch of different 90s collectibles sitting right here, like from Sabico and stuff like that. You guys can see cassette players, just things that I had, AOL CDs, you know, posters on the wall of some of the, my favorite people from the 90s that I used to have kind of when I was a kid. Got the CRT, got a Windows 98 DOS machine, and then got an Alienware XP machine sitting down there, and then a bunch of different big box games sitting everywhere here, as you guys can see. So really happy with how this looks, and this has been here for a while, and it's great. And then, of course, I have my retro shelves sitting over here. This has not changed either in the exact same position. Uh, we got a bunch of retro games here. I'll just scroll through them really quickly. Uh, got retro games over here. Different shelves. NES, of course, and then we got Sega Genesis sitting down here, and then in the front, of course, I have my favorite games on each one, and then I have a glass shelf. This one's Nintendo themed, so I have one's different theme to different things. This one's all Nintendo themed with just a bunch of different collectibles. Uh, Nintendo Power, the first and last issue sitting back there is really cool. We got a dedicated Zelda shelf sitting right here, dedicated Pokemon shelf that we have going on right there. 
Then we have uh, just a random bunch of Nintendo collectibles sitting on the bottom shelf there from different games and stuff. Then right here, we got the 3DO and Sega 32X and stuff like that up there. We got the Sega Saturn sitting right there. Bomberman is a huge hit. That game's expensive as hell nowadays. Super Nintendo sitting right there with some of my favorites there. And another shelf down here. N64 sitting on that shelf. And then my PlayStation 1 shelf sitting right there. Love NHL 2 on 2 open ice on the PlayStation. We got the Dreamcast shelf sitting up there. We got some heavy hitters over there as well. Uh, Canyon Spike is a big one. Sonic Adventure, Heavy Metal, Power Stone 2, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I love the Dreamcast. Never had it as a kid, so I'm super happy to have it now. GameCube. I've given GameCube a lot of love this year. Uh, I usually sometimes go through a shelf and I'm like, hey, what games do I really want that I don't have yet? You can see I have the entire Disney Sports series right there. Uh, this game is expensive as all hell uh, as well. Disney Sports Basketball, Skateboarding, Football, Soccer, all of them are there. GameCube in itself is really expensive right now. And then I got my GameCube, or sorry, my Game Boy shelf with a bunch of different games on there. Then we got my uh, DS shelf along with my 3DS shelf sitting right there. There's my PSP and my PlayStation Vita showcasing a bunch of games from that section there. And then my Nintendo Wii sitting right there. And then over here we come to my Sega glass shelf area. Uh, obviously Sega exploring the Sega era, era right there with different games there on top. And then we got a Sonic shelf sitting up here. The first shelf here at the top. And then over here we have the Genesis shelf. Mutant League Hockey uh, hat there which is really cool. Over here we have a Sega CD and Sega Saturn shelf from different games there. Not completely full yet, but some cool stuff in there. And then the last shelf is dedicated to the Sega Dreamcast there. I got a nice little Crazy Taxi game sitting right there, Crazy Taxi 1 and 2. Dreamcast magazines and stuff like that sitting in the corner, which is really nice. And then over here we got my original uh, PlayStation 2. Some great games in there like Jeff Sam Fighting New York and Silent Hill 3. So more PlayStation 2 games. And then we got the Xbox sitting right here. The original Xbox. More original Xbox games sitting right there. Out around 2006 is fantastic. And then down here at the bottom in the way of the drums. Are just some random books and art books and stuff that I have. Over here in the corner I just have all my controllers organized right there. Of controllers that I use for my old school systems. That are in this area right here. So I have those here. And these are obviously two chairs that i use for x rockers one is plugged into this tv the other one is plugged into the playstation 3d tv sitting right there and this is where i play most of my retro consoles the older ones you got like the super nintendo nes you can see them all sitting right here the pikachu n64 uh all that kind of stuff i have an xbox 360 modded so i can play japanese games on there that's modded with all that stuff original xbox they're modded as well when we're playing system link in the house and playing that together so there's a lot of original xboxes around here vcr and dvd player when i want to get old school and watch some vhs on this tv here we've got a bunch of vhs's vhs's sitting up there pokemon series some good stuff hey it's franklin got those up there love those some great vhs's up there got a lot of them that you guys can take a look at there Love collecting some old school VHS's there and watching them in VHS like I was a kid. So, got some cool stuff there. Again, the CRT is awesome. It's like a 36 inch TV and it weighs a crap ton of pounds. <laughs> Hope that TV lasts me for a long time. And then we got the PlayStation 3D TV, like I said. And then this PC is actually for my racing build that's right here that decided to turn itself off. I think I have a screensaver on by accident, but you can see that right there. And that's where my racing build is. I, I've talked about this in the past. This thing is amazing. Getting to play all the racing games, uh, all the arcade racing games, that's essentially what I use this the most for, is just playing arcade games and playing those. And then that's what the PC is, is kind of handling there. Moving over here is something that we're finally going to talk about that's new to this section here, is this whole entire side here is new. This is kind of where the board game room used to be, if you guys remember. This is where those four shelves that you just saw on the other side were. And now, obviously, the board game room isn't here and the table's not here. So what I did is 
I separated this out. I told you guys everything about this video is all about making more room, and that's kind of what I wanted. So this right here, the air hockey uh, table, bubble hockey, is now more spread out, so people actually have room to play it. This one is spread out as well, so you actually have two people that can sit across from each other with no issues. That one you can play four players on the Pong machine from, that I got from Arcade 1-Up. People love that machine. So everything is more spread out and has a lot of room. Two people can still play that. People can still play Pong. People can still play Pac-Man and play this air hockey table at the same time with no issue. Someone could be playing the racing build over there. All that stuff is still happening, uh, which is great. And then this whole area, like I said, is brand new. Um, essentially what I have here, if you guys have not been following, is I have an LG e6 3d tv the last 3d tv made back in 2017 and probably known as the best 3d tv ever made and it has been fantastic i have my other old school system or i have systems plugged into here that i used to have on the projector on the other side in the movie room so i put them here instead so you can see i have another original xbox of course because i have that and that one's heavily modified with like a two terabyte drive with a lot of stuff on there PS4 with the PSVR 1s hooked up on there, PS3, you know, all that stuff is all there, uh, Xbox 360 and all that kind of stuff. And then I got my mini consoles, I thought they looked good there, since they kind of match the retro vibe, because this is known as like the game room, retro room, stuff like that, and this fits perfectly, because even though 2017 is obviously not that long ago, 3D kind of feels a little bit retro sometimes, so I thought that this was perfect to kind of put here. It's a 65 inch and it is the best 3D TV that you guys will ever see. And it's too bad that it kind of came at the end when people stopped watching because it's a 4K TV, but also includes 3D. So when you watch a Blu-ray that's 1080p, you actually get the full resolution on your glasses here when you're watching it. Unlike 1080p TVs that did 3D, when they use the other technology, you didn't get that full resolution on this one you do. So the images look amazing. You get the benefits of an OLED screen because this is an OLED. That's why I don't have it powered on. I didn't want it sitting on an image for so long um, because obviously I don't want to make the burn in any worse or anything like that. So it's a fantastic TV. And this is of course my Blu-ray collection here uh, for 3D. I really just love 3D movies. These are my favorite 3D movies I've ever watched so far. Got my glasses there. These are to play dual play. I did a video on that, on you, the fact that you can use this LG TV to play split screen multiplayer, but everyone still has a full screen view of it while using these orange glasses with the 3D technology, which is cool. And yeah, this is my Blu-ray collection. As you guys are looking here, they're all essentially 3D Blu-rays. That's all I really collect for the most part. Then I got my Disney Infinity you know, figurines here on top because uh, I didn't really have any other place to store them right now. And then I got accessories over here for these systems that are sitting over here on this area. I have everything here, the controllers and the accessories and stuff like that. That's why I have a picture of the controller kind of sitting above it. That's where all my controllers are for that. And then I have my two favorite games there from different, you know, the different systems. I got Xbox on one side, Halo, Last of Us on the other side, PlayStation shelf on this side, as you guys are looking at. Got some PlayStation stuff on there. Naughty Dog shelf sitting right there with a bunch of their games because I love Naughty Dog. Got a War shelf sitting right there. Final Fantasy, or excuse me, Kingdom Hearts sitting right there. And then we got a little Big Planet sitting right there as well, which is awesome. And then of course I have the Xbox shelf sitting right here. So we got some Xbox collectibles sitting up there. Gears of War shelf sitting down there with some stuff signed. That's really cool. Halo shelf sitting right there in the middle. This is a Rockstar shelf. Even though it's not necessarily an Xbox exclusive title, I, I just love Rockstar and I needed a shelf dedicated to them. And I still think about GTA and stuff on the Xbox because that's how I used to play them. So there's a lot of cool stuff in there. And then a random assortment of stuff just like the other shelves at the bottom from a different, different a bunch of different things so really really happy with this this is a dream come true as a person who loves 3d and you guys know i talk about that on this channel all the time this 3d is amazing if you guys can ever watch 3d on a tv like this and it, it's gonna blow your mind it's three how 3d always should have been it's amazing especially when movies are done right and then here on this side we have uh this uh i got another x rocker chair this has four speakers on it unlike two you got the other one I have over there so this one has four, so it's got two on the bottom there, one over there, one over there, and then one on each side of the headrest that's hidden. And I use that, of course, to play stuff from this TV. And that's what I use when I sit on it with X Rocker and stuff, uh, you know, playing all the systems from there, the sound all outputs to the chair, which is great for watching movies and stuff. I obviously wasn't gonna put surround sound here or anything, but having the four speakers and having it right behind your ear and stuff when I'm watching movies and those Blu-rays makes for a pretty great experience if I'm not gonna use headphones or something. 
And then over here is my VR area right here. Another passion one. I love VR. And now I have a dedicated area to show off all of my headsets here. You can see I have the Vive Pro 2 sitting right there. Uh, I have the Quest 2. I have the Quest Pro. I got the PSVR 1 with the stand there. And then, of course, the PlayStation VR 2 that I just got. And then each one has a little dedicated area, of course. I got the Beat Saber there for the Quest. Uh, and then I got, you know, the famous, uh, you know, symbol for the PlayStation VR 1 with Astrobot sitting right there. And hopefully the PlayStation 2 gets some love there. And then Half-Life Alex being a PC thing, of course. And the black shelf that it's sitting is actually the same exact black shelf that I had on the other side. This is what it was in the movie room before. And it had these exact games. Obviously, this makes more sense here now because now this is the side where it has a little bit newer gen stuff. So I got the Xbox 360 sitting all up there. PS3 down there below. Nintendo uh, Wii U sitting right there and then I have a switch shelf sitting right there and this was PS4 and Xbox even though I don't have a lot of stuff in there because once I got the PS4 and Xbox uh, one and and nowadays I kind of just do digital so I don't really have a collection of games anymore which is good because I don't really have any room to put them anywhere um, but yeah I love this VR shelf kind of shows off another one of my passions when people come in the room to kind of just see the VR posters there and it matches perfectly and I just love how this whole area looks now have a lot, of, a lot of room for my bubble hockey and just having all of this kind of situated here having a 3d area it's fantastic stuff over here i have my pc i added these lights here recently uh from govi these lights look awesome up there the 3d lights they look freaking fantastic and then i still have my origin pc this is something that i'm going to upgrade here uh hopefully within the next year because it is i do have a 4080 in there but the processor is an 8700k and it's a little showing its age a little bit so i'm probably going to upgrade the machine hopefully uh, within the next year over here nothing special just some drawers with some pc accessories and stuff like that some knickknacks in there i got my playstation 5 controller sitting in there and the playstation 5 is sitting in this room it's not on one of the other tvs and stuff because i play a lot of vr and i play so i played the playstation uh, 5 on the 42 inch monitor that i use for my pc uh, this is an LG OLED the C2 that just came out. I use that with the PlayStation 5. And then, of course, I use this area sometimes, which we'll talk about in a minute, for VR. And that's where I play, you know, I plug in the PlayStation VR 2 right there. So I have all of this room to play VR. So the PlayStation 5, you know, sits there perfectly uh, with all the stuff. I wanted to put it inside that shelf, but it just doesn't fit. Talking about that next, we got my PC. We got the same exact PC setup I had last year with the Marvel. I got my 3D TV, uh, 3D dedicated pc with nvidia 3d vision and its glasses right there that i've talked before uh got my new logitech speakers that i got the g560s which are fantastic again 42 inch tv that i have here from lg or sorry yeah um got the 4k oled tv sitting right there like i said the c2 and then got this little setup here the room with a little uh changing pictures and stuff which i think is awesome and this thing is really cool it shows you like your stats so like when you get youtube subscribers and stuff it's called the loomy time i believe um awesome stuff and then like i said just dedicated here and then i have a 140 165 hertz 3d monitor so if i want to play this 3d pc i usually play it on this monitor right here or i also have it hooked up all the way over there with just an hdmi switcher and I can play it on the 4K. If I want to use PC gaming on that TV, I can to play 3D games with certain ones that support a 40, uh, that, that machine as well. So depends on what I want to do and what I want to play. I can even play some 3D games off of this one here, even with a 4080. But there's only a select few that work. I've talked about this in a video. And I can play it over there if I want a gigantic screen with much better colors and stuff like that over this one. It depends on my mood. But a lot of the times I use this one because it's just easier and I'm sitting on a chair coming over here is my tv that i have going on right here i use this tv kind of to play games that are xbox 360 connect i still love that thing or the playstation move or rock band because i just move this stuff out of the way and have a lot of room to just kind of you know situate myself here if i'm not playing in vr this is like where i do xbox 360 connect and playstation move and stuff like that and then i just have a bunch of cables and stuff and accessories sitting right here another original xbox right here with an xbox one again another i play the original xbox with a lot of friends so this is another tv where we can do that with system link and then right here is my 90s wall i've shown this in other videos but these are all my 90s collectibles it's great sitting here when i'm doing work or stuff like that right here on this pc and i can look over and just remind myself of my childhood there's so many cool things on this wall not going to go fully in detail because i'll do that in a different video but there's a lot of cool stuff in here uh that i really really like that you guys uh you know like i said we'll get enjoyment out of while watching this video 
So, just a little bit of a close-up. I'll just point out some of my favorite things here that I've always talked about. I love this thing. This thing is signed by everyone who went to the Kids' Choice Awards uh, that year, like Amanda Bynes, Keenan and Kel, uh, Nickelback. All those people have signed that shirt. It's fantastic. Uh, you know, some, some other things on here from One Tree Hill. Halloween Town, I got that autograph from her. I got my Born Meets World, uh, since I'm a huge Born Meets World fan. Topanga signed that for me, dedicated to me. You can see right there, she signed that. And then Corey signed the script for episode one, which is fantastic. So a lot of cool stuff. I got some VHS stuff that I like to show off up there. Who remembers video now? That stuff is up there. So this is 90s slash 2000s, I should say, because it's not all 90s. Uh, Smart House, my favorite Disney Channel movie. Who's surprised? So a lot of cool stuff in here. Uh, and that is basically the whole entire room, except for the center area right here. This has obviously always been here. Um, the only difference is, is that I just did a video on this amazing new racing setup I have right here with the Logitech Pro wheel and pedals. And this thing is fantastic. I just did a video on it if you guys want to know more about it. And I love it because it moves really easily on my carpet. So what I do when I want to play VR is really easy. I just take this, push it back, put it in this corner, take the racing setup push it right here and boom i got this whole entire carpet area to play vr and it easily goes right back into it like it's a 30 second process uh, and it's fantastic and i use this for vr mainly when i want to play pc vr racing games or gt7 on playstation vr2 sitting right there um, but sometimes I use this to play 2D games on the PC right there as well. It depends on my mood. But this thing is amazing. I can't wait to show this off when people come over, especially for VR games. It's awesome. And uh, I love it because it's so easy to move and kind of put away when I'm not using it in the corner. It doesn't fold or anything, but I can kind of just store it in the corner right here and then uh, still get my VR play space back. I couldn't put anything here that was solid or stationary because obviously this is my VR space when I play PC VR with my base stations and stuff that you see. But this was the perfect scenario and... It's a fantastic wheel, and watch that video if you guys want to learn more. But that is everything in this room. Like I said, uh, most, I would say 70% of it is the same, but this area over here got a whole lot of love right here in the corner. All of that changed since that's where the board game was. I got some new stuff with the uh, chair here and stuff now. Set up my PC a little differently, got a new monitor and stuff like that. Clean this whole area up looks a lot better and everything just looks more open now when people come in hey you want to go play the crt go play it when you want to go play this right here pong go play it pac-man go play it you don't have to like before it was like really tight i don't know if you guys remember my other game room but there was a lot of shelves right here so everything felt really tight uh because obviously i had a lot of stuff so i decided to you know figure some things out and make this room more open and i love it i want it to stay exactly like this i don't want to change anything because it has everything I want, everything that I could want in a room, and everything is just in uh, a really good place. Uh, you know, obviously maybe eventually I'll get rid of that Pac-Man machine and add something in its place or, or vice versa, but these are this is how I want the room to be laid out because it gives you a lot of room and a lot of space to just have people come over and naturally progress into a different spot and just play. Um, also, I do want to mention that 90s show that's playing back there that never came out on DVD or Blu-ray, but I wonder how many of you guys can guess without looking this up. What is actually playing there? I'm sp specifically being far away from it on purpose to see who remembers this classic show. You can see uh, what that is there and let me know if you guys remember. Now we're going to go ahead and go into the arcade room here. As we talked about before, this is my arcade room. Not a lot of drastic changes here. The biggest drastic change, again, following that same theme about keeping things open, it's really loud in here, by the way, is that I used to have this uh, virtual pinball machine right here in the walkway that you come in, and it came out to like here, so it was a little tight. So I got rid of that, and nothing is here anymore, uh, and people were afraid to play it because it was right next to my boiler and stuff. So now there's more room to walk in, and now everything is just kind of separated and really in its place, which is awesome. Uh, just a quick overview. Not really much has changed in this room. I still got the same stuff. I am going to be getting rid of my OutRun machine and my Street Fighter machine. I have them both for sale. I don't need another racing cab when I already have one. So I kind of got that on sale and I'll be replacing one of these two at least with a Dragon's Lair uh, RK 1-Up machine hopefully and then the other one I'm not sure yet. But this is my gun. My uh, gun machine it has all of the different gun games on here. Never going to go anywhere. This machine is fantastic. Jurassic Park. I got my IR Arcade here. I don't know why that's off. I got to figure that out, but that shouldn't be off. IR Arcade. Like I said, Outrun and Street Fighter. These will be leaving me at some point. 
Uh, Neo Geo sitting right there in the corner. Got nice LED signs back there, as you guys can see, open arcade. 3D fan, which is really cool that I've had for a while, along with the disco lights. My main Rec Room Masters machine, which is awesome. Love that thing. That's my main Rec Room Masters machine, along with two stools. This is my uh, jukebox touchscreen machine if I ever want to play music. I got the speaker sitting right here. And this is a touchscreen jukebox that I kind of rigged up to a laptop, which is really cool. Virtual pinball machine. Oh, and this Rec Room Masters machine is the one that houses every game that I play. It has thousands and thousands of games on it. Uh, this is my virtual pinball machine. As I've done a video on this as well, this is freaking awesome. Love virtual pinball. This is my NBA Jam, and I go back and forth on this all the time. This is my four-player machine. Obviously, the panel is not as big as you would want for a four-player machine. So I go back and forth. Should I sell this and get a four-player, you know, specific build in this area? Uh, or should I just leave this here? Uh, I go back and forth. I did mod the crap out of this thing. Obviously, I did LED lights on here, as you guys can see. I got a 20-inch screen in here instead of the original 17-inch modded with a PC. So it's definitely fully decked out for four-player games, and it works great. But it is a little bit cramped when you're playing with four players. Not because of the room that's here, but just because of the nature of that machine. Flynn's Arcade LED sign up there. We got the Tron machine sitting up here. Love that machine as well. And then we got another Rec Room Masters. This is the vertical machine to play all my vertical games on here. The extension arcade. I'm glad these guys are back because I love their machines, and this has been awesome. So really quick tour like i said there's not a lot of new stuff in this room there will be a couple of these machines leaving the arcade and then i'm getting two new ones but nothing too drastic in this room just created more space by like i talked about getting rid of this over here kind of spreading it all out and this just feels a lot more inviting when people come over now to actually play in this room and it looks awesome uh the only two machines that i want to get rid of are those two i don't see this machine ever leaving me the gun one i don't see the ir arcade ever leaving me Neo Geo is going to be here forever. Rec Room Masters, especially since it's dedicated to me, never going to leave. Virtual Pinball, I don't think will ever leave, that being a 4K build, unless if I build something bigger than that, because that's a 20-inch, 7-inch screen. But other than that, there will always be a pinball machine in there, no matter what. This, I'm on the fence about, and these two will definitely never leave me either. All right, so the next room we got to talk about here is my dining room uh, slash bar room, however you want to configure it out now. Uh, I call it a dining slash bar combo. Um, we have a lot going on here I want to talk about. Let's just give a quick pan of this room just so you guys get an idea of how things are situated. Let's go ahead and start on this corner here. This is like the little bar area that I have going on on here. You can see it says bar right there on the top with a couple of wine glasses and stuff. And then that's exactly where I put my mega touches here. I got a mega touch right here and also a JVL mega touch, uh, you know, their version of a mega touch from back in the day. People love these things. This is probably the, as soon as people come over, they gravitate towards these things like crazy. Um, so they immediately go to this and then I have a bunch of like storage here for things and it's great. Uh, then I have my dartboard here. People love this thing. Uh, you know, my family has always loved this thing. It's online darts. You can play online. You got a little iPad there to keep track of scores or playing online and see people on cameras. I've done a video on this before as well. This thing is awesome. This is the only thing in the house that I like would say is kind of in the way of something else that goes a little bit against everything I've been saying only because I didn't really have another great way to do this. If you want to play darts, it's fantastic. And you got the room. You can play it right here uh, from shooting right from where I'm standing. But obviously if someone's sitting at, in front of the mega touches, then obviously it's hard to play darts because it's right next to them. But you got to sometimes do what you can with the actual space. And uh, I love the mega touches here because it matches the bar theme that I was going for in here, bar slash dining room combo. And uh, you know, it is what it is. I mean, like I said, it's not the biggest deal. It still looks good. It just means this is the only room where it's like, hey, you want to either play darts or you want to use this machine. Can't do both at the same time because uh, people will be in the way. Here on the dining room table, obviously, this is where we do, you know, big family gatherings and stuff. We bring a couple of more chairs in and we can fit a bunch of people here. We have a bench right here when we need it and just have a bunch of people eating here. This is another game board that I have on here. If you guys wanted to know that last game board uh this is the second one i do have two of them and um that's sitting on here just to have on the table just because i didn't know what to do with the second one right now so i figured it'd be good to have in this room uh just for now over here we got my guitar hero machine i love this machine here uh, i've done a video review on this as well 
This is from Retro Lizards Arcade, just like the racing bill was from downstairs. And I also double it up as a karaoke machine, so I have thousands and thousands of songs for Guitar Hero that we play on here through Clone Hero and stuff like that. If you guys have not heard of it, it's freaking awesome. And then I have some other Guitar Hero games that are being used, like from PS2 and stuff, and the Wii, that you can play on these. Uh, there's a dedicated PC in here. I got these lit up and everything. Got the flashing lights in the back that goes with the sound. Got the wireless SingStar microphones that work with this, and I use karaoke on here. Got like 3,000 songs and some speakers in the back, and it just works fantastic. Uh, great machine, another one that people love to play karaoke and Guitar Hero on. Just some little knickknacks here uh, with Pac-Man and then a little play sign right there. Over here we got the NFL Blitz from Arcade 1UP. Uh, I wanted this more because of the fact that the 49ers are sitting on it right here. And I love the 49ers, so I was like, I need to own it for the artwork. And then, of course, it has the 49-way joysticks, which I don't have on my main machine downstairs. So it makes it play a little bit better than it would if you just had a regular main machine. And it has the HD graphics as well uh, and the online play, even though things aren't perfect with online play, but it's still there. Uh, but it is really fun to have and it, did, it, it gives me an HD experience a little bit better than what the main version would be downstairs So I feel like this has its place even though it's replicating a game I could easily play on another machine It has unique controls Which is what I care about when I buy a machine that I can't replicate myself very easily and some unique things about it And uh, I love the artwork because obviously being a 49ers fan This is uh, my pride and joy right here that I got last year. This is the golden tea machine this thing is freaking awesome. Always wanted one of these. And what's even better is that I actually got a four in one. It has all of the incredible technologies games on here that work with the trackball. So it has the Golden T 2022 update, as you guys can see right there. But then I also have the arcade collection. So there's a button on the back, like I've talked about in a previous video, that is just back here, as you guys can see. And you just switch it from one game to another uh, on different HDMI inputs. One is the arcade collection, as you're seeing there which has Target 12 Pro, Super uh, Silver Strike Bowling, and Power Pup Golf. And you can play that right there, or you can switch it to the other input, and then you're playing Golden Tee 2022 fully online with all the courses and stuff. This thing is amazing and so much fun. And then the next one here that I have is Retro Raccoons. Uh, actually, I, I had to hit the green button to start it up. But there's Retro Raccoons. Really cool four-player like Mario Party type arcade machine, essentially. Uh, obviously, you guys can tell this is where I keep all my full-size arcade machines in this room because, uh, you know, I had this one here that's kind of full-size when you add the TV. This is obviously full-size. And then this one next to what we're about to talk about is full-size, and they just don't fit in my basement because of the height of the ceiling. So that's essentially why this room started is because these machines just didn't fit downstairs. Um, and we got Big Buck Hunter Reloaded, the official machine here. This machine gets... The number one game that gets played in this house is definitely Big Buck Hunter Reloaded. Out of everything I own and everything I play when people come over, this is the one everyone gravitates towards. Not only because the game is easy to play, but hard to master like hell. It has online play that you can play with other players online from all over different bars everywhere. Uh, it has, obviously, the fancy lights that gravitates people towards it. It's a fantastic game. It's so much fun, and it has more than just Big Buck Hunter on it. For those of you guys who don't know Reloaded, they have a bunch of other games on there, which I've done a bunch of videos on. So... That is this room. I love it. Again, it's pretty open. Uh, Guitar Hero, you can play over there if you want to. You got the NFL Blitz sitting right there. You can play Golden T pretty easily. This one, uh, Retro Raccoons, you can play pretty easily as well with no issues. And then, of course, you got this one that you can play right here in front of it with no issues as well. Or you can sit around the table and play some game board there if you want to. Uh, only issue that I have is obviously these two right here like I talked about. But everything else is pretty much exactly the way I like it. And then we got what I did with the movie room that was downstairs. So a lot of you guys have never seen this part of the house because I've never shown it off. But this was essentially my living room. I mean, it still is my living room. But just a little bit more geeked out uh, to stuff that I like. So obviously right here, this is our uh, my you know, living room that has now turned into a half living room, half movie room, same thing in my mind. Essentially the projector is sitting up here. I got the projector, obviously. The projector's obviously behind me and stuff like that. And uh, you know, I got all this stuff over here that I really enjoy and like to show off. So this is my little Star Wars corner. This is my uh, thing that I had downstairs that goes off every time the devil score and it actually sinks, the Budweiser thing. I've got a lightsaber there on the wall. This is an iPad that controls the projector and everything, so it switches input and everything for you when you want it to. And this is my little Star Wars shrine with all my Star Wars collectibles mostly. A couple of uh, other things there at the bottom. 
uh, from other movies, but the first two shelves are all Star Wars themed. Remember, I had a lot of this stuff downstairs in the movie room, and obviously, I don't want to get rid of all this stuff because I have some really great collectibles that I like. Uh, so this is kind of where they went. Obviously, I have my speaker system up here. The I have a five. I have one, two, three, and then uh, two in the back, of course, and then two on the ceiling as well behind me on the couch. I don't want to show you guys the couch right now because it's a little bit of a mess, but uh, those are back there and stuff like that. Um, but we got the, uh, you know, everything set up here, 5.1.2. We got the subwoofer sitting right there in the corner, and I think it turned out really, net, really good uh, for exactly what I wanted. Hid the cables as much as possible. Uh, that's what this white strip is here because a lot of the cables from behind me are coming into here and, you know, going right there. I did it, what I could by hiding them in white so it matches the paint behind it. I'm not a pro at any of this stuff, but I did what I could to hide the cables as much as possible, even though there's still a couple of ones from the speakers and stuff like that sitting right there. But it's, it's much better than what the cable mess was downstairs, that's for sure, by tenfold. Um, but just to give you guys another uh, an overview on this stuff, we talked about the Star Wars. This is my little Marvel corner. So I got some cool stuff on here. You know, I got this signed by Jessica Jones. We got this sign uh, from Jessica from Iron Fist. Uh, this is just fantastic. We got this signed here from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, this is just fantastic. And this is from Agent Carter, a really underrated show. Got that signed from her. Uh, you know, Stan Lee stuff sitting right here. Just some really cool Marvel pieces. And then here I got Stranger Things sitting in this corner here on top of the speakers with those collectibles and then a Harry Potter gigantic poster. We got some of these figurines that I've had downstairs that are freaking massive that seem to make more sense up here than down there. This is where that sign went that I told you guys was in place of the other one. This is Oliveira Home Theater, always showing. So, uh, and then this is obviously, the, the only things I have up here is I got a switch sitting up here. I got the receiver and then of course the Xbox One sits up here when I wanna play it on the projector. So PS5 sits downstairs for the purposes of what I told you guys already. And then up here I have the Xbox Series X sitting up here. Uh, then the, the screen actually comes down. It's a 110 inch screen. Uh, and then that's where the speakers right there. The screen goes like to here and then the speakers kind of open. These two don't hit the screen. So you get the full sound effect and everything. Over here, I wouldn't say this area is completely done. I kind of want it to fill it a little bit like that one because it looks a little bit bland when you like sit back and you're looking on both sides and this one's a little bit empty but i don't have anything to put there right now obviously when i get some stuff there that will be there but right now i think this looks pretty good this is just another some of my favorite stuff ready player one sitting right there along with the poster as you guys can see there as a person who loves vr probably not shocked and then some just dc collectibles i want to add like a couple of uh you know ready player one autograph stuff probably right here and then a couple of dc autograph stuff right here just to even out the spaces and then over here, I got my two posters, obviously from two other things I really like, The Mighty Ducks and Wreck-It Ralph. Love both of those movies as well. Kind of showing off this popcorn machine. I don't know if it's gonna stay here forever. I do love popcorn and using the popcorn machine. Uh, it's huge up here. And, and this is obviously not a real dedicated movie room. This is more of a living room, cause that's what it is. Just happens to have a projector in it with a bunch of collectibles in it. Um, for now it's here. If I end up using it a lot, then I'll keep it. But if not, this may end up getting sold off just because it's, it's you know, really big to be in here. But we'll see how it goes. And it does obviously block the poster a little bit. But we'll see how that goes in the future, if, if that's something I want to get rid of or not. It depends on how much I end up using it, uh, you know, going forward when people are over. We got a little Harry Potter shrine on top of this speaker here. Love the Harry Potter series. We got the 4K Blu-ray set over there and everything. So that's awesome. And then we got the Pixar set, uh, you know, stuff right here to show that off. This is just some of my favorite movies. The same shelf I had downstairs that you guys may have seen from last year. It's just obviously up here. Got the Optimus Prime thing that I've done a lot of videos on that people love. The hoverboard sitting in the corner. Just some really cool movie collectibles sitting right there from like, uh, you know, Pokemon. Not Pokemon, sorry. Power Rangers, Terminator, Casper, Fast and Furious, uh, National Treasurer, Ghostbusters sitting up there. Back to the Future, we got the letters back there and everything. Just some cool movie room collectibles kind of sitting over here. But yeah, that is essentially what happens. Uh, the rest of the living room looks exactly the same as what it always did. I only touched, that's why I'm only showing you the front because it's kind of a mess behind me right now. But uh, the rest of it is just a regular living room. It's just a couch and you know photos on the wall from families and stuff, from my family and stuff. Nothing, nothing too crazy back there. Nothing was changed. It was just here before we used to have like a 65 inch on top of this up here. And then everything else was kind of just nothing on the wall. It was just a TV and that's it. Uh, and then this is what I did here. I think it looks really good as somebody who loves, you know, movies and stuff like that. 
moving the projector up here like I, the main goal of it was because I wanted a movie room that or I wanted the projector to be used more essentially what happened downstairs is that since that room was a little tight for something like that I only had room for that one couch that you guys saw for which is for four people so it made it so when my friends came over and we were like let's have a Super Bowl party here I always had more than four people here so we never used the projector people ended up coming in this living room with a 65 inch because this living room is you know a lot bigger you guys can see you know this thing is huge and i'm not even showing you the couch there's a lot of room here and um so that's why i moved it up here and now when people are over and we're watching something that requires a lot of people you know i can watch if i want to i'm in the mood my projector is 3d also even though it's not as good as that lg but still it's, it's good and i've been using it before i got that tv for a while so i can watch 3d movies up here we can watch the football game up here and now it's gigantic and you know kind of have that going on so feel like this is uh you know fantastic and a lot of fun to have up here kind of makes me happy walking into this room because it's a lot of the things that i enjoy I i'm assuming it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea to have this stuff sitting in the living room of your house but that's why we're all different and, and you know that's kind of the stuff that i like here that uh you know separates me from you and someone else from someone else it's, it's really fun to you know have this stuff show it off and it's kind of what makes you happy it's whatever makes you happy and it works in your house that works for you and having a projector in the living room here and just being able to enjoy it i kind of think things are a lot separated now hey you want to watch a movie let's go into the living room and watch on this gigantic projector and you know people will definitely come in here and be like damn i know what carlos likes he loves these collectibles and loves marvel and loves star wars in the corner and stuff like that and, and loves all this stuff and then hey you want to go play a board game let's go to the board game room you want to go play some of the big arcades go to the the, the dining room there you want to go you know play uh, one of the games downstairs or VR, go downstairs in that room. You want to go into the actual arcade, go downstairs in that room. And then obviously I've done a backyard tour as well that you guys have seen in the last six months. Hey, you want to go in the hot tub, go in there. You want to go outside, check that out. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys with, with a little bit of a preview of that. Now there's still a lot of work to do this year because obviously it's the, it's the ending the winter, se the winter season ended and now it's spring. So I'm doing cleanup now. There's still some stuff to do, uh, obviously, in this backyard, some cleanup and stuff like that, and I'm out here right now. But this is what we did last year. We added an outdoor kitchen that we have going on on here. We have an outdoor TV, so we can watch TV out here. Uh, you know, we have all this. We got an outdoor fridge. We got a nice grill over here, outdoor pizza. So we have this nice stuff out here, garbage in there and all that kind of stuff. And then we added a hot tub right here which is freaking awesome. We added a little extension there with the hot tub so people can enjoy themselves out here. We added these lights around here on this little patio area as you guys are looking at here. And then we have this uh, nice table. Obviously, there's a cloth over it that the birds decided to have a party on. Uh, and then, but like I said, there's, there's some cleanup that needs to happen. This rug has been outside. I need to power wash it and get that all cleaned up and, and get this all area cleaned up and then, you know, get the backyard looking nice again. Those plants, obviously, we used to have plants on every corner here and, and those kind of died out. Uh, this pathway here lights up. There's little lights over here at night. These light up at night as well, um, which is really cool. And then we also added that little fire pit area as you guys are looking at there, which is cool. Another walkway here with a bunch of lights when it's dark out. We got lights on the fence too that light up in blue, which makes everything look fantastic and kind of shines down to the plants when there's actually plants in there. Uh, I was cleaning up the leaves yesterday uh, from this corner because there was a gigantic pile of leaves over there. So I got to get that all cleaned up. Um, but this is the pergola that we built, which I think looks fantastic with the little walkway. We got this little area set up here with a bunch of chairs that are obviously all covered right now. The pillows are all inside and stuff. I'm going to be bringing those out soon. Got a bunch of lights over here as well. Got a bug zapper, you know, keep the bugs away. Uh, but this looks fantastic. The lights are a lot of fun and using that fire pit is a lot of fun. Um, and then, yeah, and the rest of this is just kind of green area right now. Uh, like it's usually been, we have two outside speakers right here. Uh, besides just the TV, we have two gigantic outside speakers. This is where I usually set up all those games that you guys maybe have seen. If you see my backyard tour, like there's a lot of outdoor games that we play, like cornhole and stuff like that, that all get set up out here. We have a ton of fun. So I feel like everything is kind of separated out and it's a little chilly outside right now. Uh, so it's a little bit chilly outside. So we're going to go inside and wrap this up. I think a lot of that, I think a lot of the things are now separated and I think it looks fantastic. I hope you guys agree. There's a lot of good changes that happened this year in these rooms and how everything is now organized in this house i hope you guys enjoyed this game room tour i don't even know if i can call it a game room tour or a house tour at this point so i'm going to use both words but hopefully you guys got a good impression of everything that i have going on a lot of changes this year and uh in my opinion for the way better way more room way more stuff things designated in their own area 
So I'm super happy with how everything turned out. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of everything. What was your favorite thing that you guys saw today? And if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like and subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel. We do a lot of good stuff on this channel uh, that I will be doing in the future. And again, guys, as always, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.